Major, episode one. I'm Keith McPherson, and this is The Wall. So I think it's important for me to do this intro episode kind of explaining The Wall, which will also better explain who I am and what I am, and I don't know, maybe validate me for some people that don't know who I am, and um, just kind of give me some credibility out there in the sports world on YouTube. So first things first, shout out to Nicole, that's my girlfriend. Uh, She helped me put together a lot of this wall and deserves a shout out just for sticking with me and seeing my vision and helping me make this come to life. I've had this wall in my mind's eye for months now, and uh, Nicole allowed me to create this in our apartment. So love you. Thank you. Shout out to her. These cards are from my uncle Tim. Uh, I like the wood. So we went with all wood on the first one. I have so many baseball cards between my collection, my uncle Tim's and my brother's collection. Um, Like I said, shout out to Nicole again for helping me, you know, can't do this stuff alone. That's me in my pajamas one night, just going through tickets, putting together these ticket boards to show all the places that I've been and all the stadiums and games I've seen. But here we go. Start off with this banner, because you know what time it is. 27 rings, bro. The New York Yankees World Series champions. Yeah, it's a rough time for us. Uh, We're going on 10 years since we won one, but the evil empire shall return. Shout out to Tops. Uh, they came to the fan cave with these buttons and patches and a pack for me. Um, it was a throwback to the back on top, back to back 1977 and 78 teams that won it all. Um, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, you know all about that. Ortofon DJ Slip Mats. Shout out to all my DJs out there. If you don't know, I used to DJ from age like 15 to 26, 27. That's my man, Doc Gooden. You already know about Doc. I don't got to tell you about that. He signed that when he came to the fan cave. Um, This is a poster that I got from Guitar Center. I was lucky enough to be one of the 300 people uh, interviewed. And then I think they selected 30 of us to open up the first Guitar Center in Ocean Township. I have so much pride in that. Um, I kept the stickers and just kind of outlined this poster with these different companies and brands that were sold in Guitar Center. Um, I was in the pro audio section right up front, selling DJ equipment and speakers. I was one of the top salesmen in the Northeast. I only worked there for six months, but I had a lot of pride in doing all of that. Next up is a close up right here on Reggie and this plaque that I got when I was very young. Um, 1998 Bronx Bombers World Series champs. That's me, I was not on the team. But since I got that when I was a little kid, I somehow damaged it and lost the Andy Pettit card that was in that place. What up, Judge? Jedi Judge from Star Wars Night this year. Um, here's a program from one of the games, Twin Towers, Judge and Stanton, Giancarlo. That's a very old uh, Cowboys wooden thing, I don't know, that I used to have up in my room as a kid. NFL draft cards. Oh, there's the uh, last CD I ever purchased, Fetty Wap. Baby, won't you come my way? Jersey, you know, Patterson, rep that. Uh, cup that you get at the stadium. Jeff Hostetler, Chris Carter over there, little figurines. World Series 2009 DVD, a couple baseballs. This baseball actually was from CC Sabathia, Bronx Pinstripes game. He chucked one up to our section. I was working at Rock Nation at the time, and CeCe's a Rock Nation guy. It was super cool to get that baseball that he threw up there. Okay, here's the first ticket board. Uh, White Sox, Monmouth Park, uh, Judge ticket up there. I've been to so many games. I've I've been extremely blessed. Um, Got to interview at the NFL this year. Holy grail of tickets right here. 2006, I saw George Mason beat UConn. George Mason was 11, UConn was like two. Shout out to Viacom, MTV. That was my ID to get in the building when I worked at 1515 right in Times Square. First time uh, at Citizens Bank Park. Dope down there in Philly. Shout out to Brandon Ingram, Duke. Mammoth Hawks basketball. That's where I went to school. 2005, State Champs High School. Coachella VIP. Coachella, I love you. I think about you every day. Uh, my first Wrigley Field game. I've been to a bunch. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to all my Chicago friends. 
Uh, also a White Sox certificate. Shout out to my man Stan, who works for the White Sox. Ticket from uh, Miami Heat game against the 76ers that I went to. We weren't even supposed to get in that game. I finessed and got us in the disabled seats like 10 minutes before t- tip off. Um, CC Sabathia and friends softball game when I was working at Rock Nation. We put that together. Those are tickets from that game and some other games. Signed Jerry Rice autograph that my brother got me. My old license and uh, 3D head printout from the MLB Fan Cave. Next Glory Records, my old recording studio that we put together in the background. And the state championship ring. Honestly, this is probably my greatest accomplishment from organized sports. 2005, we won the state championship. Uh, here's more of the figurines. Marcus Allen, Marshall Falk. But um, uh, MTV2 off the bat. That was the MTV2 show that was filmed in the fan cave my year. That's uh, John Carlos Stanton with the Miami Marlins. Went down there to see him chase 60 and didn't know he'd be coming to the Bronx right after that. Big Red Spartans towel again, OT rep. Now that's uh, PNC Park in Pittsburgh, one of my favorite parks. Shout out to Caitlin Paul for hooking that up. More figurines, bobbleheads. That's a David Wells bobblehead. That's John Elway and Steve Young. That's a wristband from Derek Jeter's 3000 hit. My Monmouth uh, University ID. I went to Monmouth, studied communication, radio, and television. Dallas Cowboys towel underneath everything. Dope cup from Yankee Stadium with the World Series patches on it. Football from Monmouth University. I played a little football there, but I say a little because I was too busy partying. I barely played. Ball from Marlins Park. That's a Monopoly board, uh, a Yankees um, Yankees edition Monopoly game. DMX and Nas, Belly, one of the greatest movies, if not the greatest movie of all time. Troy Aikman, one of the greatest quarterbacks, if not the greatest quarterback of all time. This was from 1997. I played for the Rockies Little League in Colt Field, Ocean Township. We won it that year. That was one of my first ever, I think it was my first ever championship in organized sports. Shout out to Sports Illustrated. They sent me this uh, poster of the special Derek Jeter issue when, um, you know, Jeter was on his way out on his farewell tour. Shout out to MLB Network sending those calendars over to Fubo TV. And you know who that is. That's a dude. Blue Devil. Cameron Crazies. Let's go. Here's a good look at the baseball card wall that I um, put together. Like I said, I, I picked the wooden cards. I like that little wood trim on the out, on the outline and it, it just kind of looked dope. Here's a look at the football cards I put together. Very 90s. The dopest thing about it to me is like the old uniforms in the NFL. You can see like, like the Patriots old uniform right there. Look at Merrill Hodge, Warren Moon, Jim Kelly, Dan Marino, Rodney Pete, Herschel Walker. Charles Haley, who played for the Cowboys, also went to JMU. And Ed McCaffrey, Christian's dad. You already know, bro. Back on top, 1977 world champions. Uh, Here's a funny story about this. In 1999, I played quarterback for Ocean Township Pee Wee. And we had our ceremony and we went through the whole ceremony. And they gave out all these awards and... I mean, everyone knew I was probably one of the best players on the team, but I don't know what I was thinking. I started crying, thinking I didn't get an award, and boom, they hit me with the most outstanding player award. New Jersey versus everybody. Shout out to Wax. That's uh, Charlemagne's man. He sold me that hat. Um, White Sox hat. It got for free at the game. Off the bat. It's my name tag from the contestant search. Wild and Out crew. All-star game. Boom. Another ticket board. So many games. I'm I'm so blessed and thankful that I've seen so many games live. I what I want to say about these tickets is that I grew up watching the games on TV, whether it was football, basketball, baseball, hockey, whatever, college, and um, I didn't even think about physically going to the game. I played video games, would see the different stadiums and parks, but I got a little bit older and like I didn't really even try to go because I didn't have the money. But time passed and I was able to acquire some funds and make some connections and work in sports and get to hundreds of games. 
Shout out Dana, shout out Joey, Sean, came to visit me in the fan cave, took some pictures in the photo booth we had there. Yankees at Wrigley, epic games last season. Yankees swept that ass. Mets, never repping for the Mets, but obviously I've been to their park a few times um, out in Queens. I'll give them their props. City Field is dope. They got good food over there, but their fans are just corny and obviously the team is terrible. Um, Cowboys, Giants, been to a few of those. US Open right next to City Field. Um, NFL Draft, my first Marlins game. Big Ten Tournament, compliments of Fubo TV. Giants Patriots game. I took Nicole to her first NFL game. Elliot Wilson, G Easy for Crown, MTV. First Cowboys game I went to a couple years back. Respect the star. This is uh, a bottle opener and cap holder. Take a look inside. Shout out my boy BG. Uh, I found this in my collection of cards. I guess he gave me that on Valentine's Day. Sent him a video, told him I'll be repping. That's BG Barbershop, the red sticker right there on my sticker wall. Uh, most of these stickers are places I've worked or places I've been um, in my travels. Shout out to Bubba Coos Burritos, best burritos down the Jersey Shore. MTV, Fubo TV, Rock Nation. Certificate of Achievement. Uh, just to show that I've been out here on the computer doing my thing with my art, whether it's creating Photoshop stuff or videos. Wrigley Field, one of the dopest places to watch a baseball game ever. Derek Jeter Patch, Farewell Tour. MTV Swag, when you can get some free MTV stuff, you take it. Thousand Yard Club, here's a little secret. I, I think I was short in 2003 by like two yards and they bumped me up right to a thousand, should have made it 2001. Greatness is a process that came with the Rock Nation Yankee hat that came out a couple years ago. Back on top.